Hey everyone, Amy here with Sublimation and More and Hellbound Designs and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to press the Glitter HTV onto this black canvas tote bag and I'm also going to show you how to sublimate onto the sublimation bag. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Okay, so here is the foam. Um, I got my foam from, I got like a three pack or a five pack, I don't remember, of uh, foam from uh, coastalbusiness.com. Um, I'm sure you can get this foam in anywhere, um, but I recommend definitely having the foam in the bag. Uh, the reason why is because we do have, let's see if I can show you. You do have this zipper pocket in here and we don't want to ruin that so the foam is going to help secure that for you i mean make sure that it doesn't get ruined okay so the first thing you do is i cut the foam down to fit my bag and as you can see i've already done one side so i'm just going to shove the foam as far down there as i can okay i'm going to flip the bag over For this two color design, um, I'm doing heat transfer vinyl glitter. And it is two colors and there's a trick to it. First of all, this is what we call a knockout design in the vinyl world, all right? And there's a couple different methods you need to know how to do to create the knockout design. Uh, and the reason why is because the you have to have the outline in the knockout design so that it cuts and gives you more than enough space to put your second color in, okay? Reason why, when you heat press this stuff, it's going to shrink. So it's important that um, if you're doing a two color design it's important that you only press the first color for five seconds that is it um, if I don't recommend it with a cold peel but if you are using a cold peel vinyl um, then you just gotta wait it out fan the bag whatever but for a hot peel it makes it a lot easier also notice how I have the straps hanging out okay we don't want to fry these straps so um, so I'm going to let these hang at the end like this so I don't press them. I'm going to go ahead and do my first color. Okay. And I'm also going to put the ball right there. Now what I forgot to do, tell you, is to make sure you use your lint roller and wipe over the bag like you would any other material are you pressing okay and then you want to press now on stuff that's real thick like this I surely miss my clam uh, my clamshell press because with the swing aways it can be a little difficult to get it to do right so I'm just gonna maneuver here and I obviously need to get my pressure back up so I can get the sucker underneath here all right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pre-press for about five seconds. All right. Now, if y'all can't see, let's see. I am, hold on. Sorry. I am pressing these, the vinyl for uh, 25 seconds at 325, okay? That is for this glitter vinyl, and that is manufacturer recommendations. So. I'm 
going to put some thin piece of Teflon over it and then raise my press and if you can see I'm not touching the handles I'm just going to push it right there to where the metal is kind of go down on my pressure and we're going to do five seconds that's all you need all right here is my second color which I'm just going to lay right over. And this is where I'm talking about for these knockout designs. See how there's a little bit of outline of black and this one might have shrunk a little bit on me, but it'll still be all right for this demonstration. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it in there. Now we're going to go the full 25 seconds. And we got to get our pressure back up again. And like I said, I have to keep doing this because I have a swing away. If you have a clamshell, it's going to be a piece of cake for you guys. And we're going to go for the full 25 seconds. And the bag looks really good. Just gonna get any extra stuff off there. And this is what this tote bag looks like. We will move on to the sublimation tote bag. And that's what it looks like. Came out very pretty, both sides. Okay, uh, for the poly canvas bags, um, I have my foam inserted. Uh, this is a bigger design. I'm gonna try to go from edge to edge. So my foam is a little bit bigger. I put it in there. The bags are exactly 14 inches. So I just cut my foam to 14 inches and it just took me a couple seconds to get it in there. Here's the design I'm printing on. Um, it's going to go right to the edges. I don't care if the white seam shows in between because this is generally a black and white design anyways, except for the red heart. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to actually place this on here. Um, sorry, first thing we're going to do is clean off any lint. Almost. All right, and then next, you can use your spray, um, but because I have a swing away press, um, it's difficult for me to get it over thick items like this. Uh, so I'm gonna use tape instead, so it doesn't shift on me. So remember, again, we want the handles to be going out, all right? And then I'm just gonna line this up. I'm gonna get my keeper. I went ahead and bought the big rolls of butcher paper. I got a, um, huge roll of it on Amazon for $32. So, uh, and you can also get your heat tape and all that stuff from Amazon or you can get it from coastalbusiness.com. 
So I want this to go to the edge and I think that one's going to the edge. So what I'm going to do is just put a little piece of tape around the edge on each side. And that should hold it in place. Okay. Next, we're going to put our protective paper over. This bag is going to be done at, is going to be done at, hold on. I'm just gonna check to make sure. There we go. At um, 375 for 60 seconds, light pressure. Take it off. See how it came out here. out pretty nice um, on the design itself I would probably uh, darken my outline just a tad bit more on the H um, so that would be the only change I make but as you can see it came out really nice my red is really red my black is black um, I did have a light place right here so I'll have to give it more a little more pressure right there so we're going to go ahead and do the other side and I'm going to give more pressure. Okay, so to lint, make sure you lint. This is the top. Tape on the ends. So it doesn't move. Okay. Looks good. Put your paper over. Now, like I said, I'm going to try a little more pressure this time. I might even shift the bag this way. I'm gonna go ahead and try it this way still. All right. I probably didn't turn my, push my swing away the top platen all the way in. I'm gonna go ahead and give it just a tad more pressure just to be safe. And we're gonna go for 60 seconds at 375 again. This side came out perfect. So as you can see, the zipper and everything's good on the inside. It didn't melt the straps. Um, light pressure. Overall, came out as a cute bag. As you can see, the bag level mates very well. Um, the red pops on there. Uh, so this concludes the video on how to sub 
the poly bag and how to press a uh, heat transfer vinyl onto the other bags. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not already and feel free to join our Facebook group Sublimation and More and we will be offering these bags on a group buy and our other Facebook sister group which is Sublimation and More group buys. Thanks for watching.